Okay, so this is what we found. So this is our summary tab, and I've, I've just pulled this summary tab out so you guys have that. You don't have to go back and look at the original thing. And so let me just, ex this, this looks kind of complex, so don't worry, it's, all, it's, it's fairly simple. This is just to give you more context. So this is you guys, right, 2023. And so uh, this says, were there September opportunities? So one of the questions is, hey, is, is, is this ecotourism business um, happening? So this first one was, hey, remember we, we targeted whatever two weeks from now, or whatever, whatever the date was, a week, week and a half from now, whatever it was. Um, and are there, were there opportunities for random Joe Blow tourists to go, uh, go on a Manta snorkel thing, right? And so this says 59% had of the businesses had lots of uh, uh, openings. 31% uh, had some, can you guys see this? Should I make this bigger? Is that better? Uh, 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 lots, some, uh, little, about 6% had little, and about 4% had no options. And then for this guy, all I did was add these two together. So 90% of the businesses had at least some options. So 90% so of the businesses, if maybe, maybe not the one day we wanted, but at some point that week, we could go out with that business, okay? And you can look at how that, how that was last year. 83% were like that last year. The year before, 73%. So clearly there's been getting, so there's more availability now to, to go than there were the last few years at the same time. Does that make sense? Make every, Everybody's with me, right? Okay. And then, and then this one is uh, through, and I'm happy to talk about it, but because of time, essentially I just um, uh, uh, averaged some things together and, uh, and figured out how much the average price is. So two years ago, it was about 120 bucks on average to go on a snorkel. Uh, last year was about 133. It's almost the same price this year, um, which is a little interesting because inflation has been going crazy, right? Um, and this is the, 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 ch the, the change from one year to the next. Okay. Um, this is, have, has the, are the business owners do, are the business owners doing okay? Well, how do they perceive their business? The first one is that the business is closed, has failed. The next is that things are low. The next is that we have the normal level of, of, uh, of business as to before COVID and then, or it's actually improved since COVID. And so, um, shuttered or, or closed or low or shuttered was about 10% of the businesses found that. Um, Pre-COVID or better, so at least as good as it was before COVID, if not better, is about 90% of the businesses. Last year, only 80% reported that. The year before that, only 70% reported that, right? Every, it making sense what we're doing? Okay. And then, um, and then this was just a question because we asked about the fires that have an impact and basically almost everybody said it had no impact because they're on Maui, right? Even though they did have a fire on Maui, that, that was just sort of a, a random thing. Okay. Uh, then it's how many businesses were operating. Two years ago, there was 52. This year, there's, or last year, there was 46. This year, is 51. Um, and then this is how much, by making a few assumptions, the assumptions are that the, the snorkel businesses seem to operate as much as 240 days of the year. So not 365, but about 240. And then some, a couple of assumptions about uh, uh, how many trips they can do and stuff like that. And so it looked like the potential business, gross business, so that's what the taxes, that's what the community gets, or the baseline for community getting taxes and stuff, right? And so uh, it was about 58 million. Um, again, this is very, this is gross. This is a very rough estimate, right? But about 58 million two years ago, about 55 million last year, about 59 million this year. Um, and then, uh, and then uh, if we scroll down here, and this is this is the gross average per vessel and all this kind of stuff. Um, uh, what we get is uh, this is how much we're estimating they gro the business grossed, and this is estimated costs. This is a generalized thing for operating a dive boat. Okay, so this is a lot of assumptions here, but just you know as, as a as a yardstick, something to go with. And so it looked like two years ago, the average business made on average about um, 
about $1.1 million. And they, um, uh, it costs them to run their business a little bit less than that. So they're pretty close to breaking even. Yeah. Uh, the following year, about the same thing. This year, even though the rev, even though the revenue is still higher than two years ago, um, it looks like the costs are have gone up more. So this is saying that right now it looks like if the only thing these guys were doing was was manta snorkeling, that maybe it's not going to make money, right? Obviously, they can use their boat for other things too. Um, so so, but the point is the this tourism thing. Is be, manta tourism is becoming harder on average, right? I'm sure some businesses are rocking and rolling it, some businesses are tanking, but on average, it's a it's a challenging thing. It's not it's not gold mining, right? It's not people sitting here just like woo woo woo, making all this money, making all this money, making all this money. Does that make sense? What I did? Okay. And then just for context, you don't need this, but just for context, this is what visitors. This is the annual visitors to Hawaii. 19. All this stuff is real. 22. This last one, 23, is estimated because the year is not over yet. So this is, this is all from the state of Hawaii, estimated number of, of people coming in, right? And this is the percent. So this is a number of percent change. And this is the revenue. This is the estimated revenue expenditures, right? You don't need to use all that. You could use a, a, just a, a few lines of this or one or two of these lines. When I give you this stuff, you do not need to use necessarily all of it. I'm just trying to give you guys options as to how you can interpret this. So one or two people just give me a quick thought. What do you guys think? How are you, how are you gonna? What do you think you might write for your paragraph? Like so, how, how are the how is the biz, how is the uh, Kailua Kona Manta ecotourism business these days? Steven? Uh, that they're getting a lot of ocean factors. Yes. Yeah, and and again, we're not an economics class. This is not. I mean, we're not. I'm not like going way into all this. Clearly, there's some big honking boats. There's some little small micro boats. So there's a lot of variation here. We're just trying to look at this from a coastal management perspective, right? We have, at, at least there are dozens and dozens of businesses that are doing this activity. They're not making a gazillion million dollars. They're not tanking. It'll be very interesting to see how many businesses are there next year, right? But some of you already found when you, when you reached out to folks, they're like, oh, we don't do it. We're not doing any tours in September, right? They could do tours. But they've clearly made the decision that, yeah, I could do tours, but I'm going to lose money on, you know, I do it maybe the peak summer. So I'm going to write a little, little paragraph about that. Pull in some of these facts, as always, right? Be, be quantitative, be precise. And then, and then did, how did ChatGPT do? How did ChatGPT do? Did, did it do a good job? I'm mean, obviously, you know, it didn't have access to our data, but, but theoretically it should have, right? I guess it could have scanned the web and been Mr. Yeah, I agree. Does that make sense?